Set, go. Wow, look at that. Welcome back guys. So, all the comments down below from the last video about the Cobalt were, do the Milwaukee Gen 3, do the Milwaukee Gen 3. So instead of doing against the Rigid or the um, old Cobalt or Skill or Makita, we're just gonna go right and try to dethrone the King. Now, I don't know if it can do it, but I guarantee it's gonna put up a good fight. So guys, stick around to the end, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. Hit that intro. All right guys, so the Cobalt has 4,000 impacts per minute, where the Milwaukee has 4,300 impacts per minute. Also, the Milwaukee has 3,600 RPMs, where the Cobalt has 3,400 RPMs. The Milwaukee has it beat by a couple hundred RPMs and impacts per minute. So, let's get right down to business and head over to that jaw horse and see which one comes out on top. All right guys, first test up, we have brand new fresh eight inch timber locks right here. Now. Milwaukee does not make a four amp hour high output battery. So we're gonna use a three fully charged up. Fully charged up four, bam, this is the new one. Both of these have one row of 21700 cells, so it's kind of even, but I know you guys shit, I don't care. It's what I got. If anybody wants to donate batteries to the channel, feel free to donate batteries to the channel. All right, here we go. Cobalt on the right, on high. Milwaukee on high on the left. Both are using the exact same DeWalt 5 16th inch bit. One, two, three, corn tack. Wow, that was a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. The cobalt was a millimeter behind it the whole entire time. This is gonna be a good test, guys. Next, we do a time test. We have four six inch timber locks. We're gonna take a second in between each one off to make it absolutely even, because sometimes they fumble. We will do the cobalt first. As soon as I start going, we start the clock. Ready? Go. I'm not pushing. Time. Not too shabby. Let's pull them out and uh, do the Milwaukee. Go. Time. Nice, that was pretty close, guys. Pretty close. All right, we're gonna pull these out. We're gonna slap on the two amp hour batteries because those are both just standard. They got the 18650s, they're not the high performance cells. So we're gonna see how these do together with just a standard battery, see if the Cobalt has a chance, okay? See, okay, charge it up. Charge it up. Seriously? Both on high. Ready, dip set, go. Ah, oh, Milwaukee still gets it. What the heck, guys? What the heck? Switch hands, try it again. Cobalt, my dominant, Milwaukee in the left. Sit, contact. Dang, got up by a freaking an inch almost on that one. All right guys, let's see if the Cobalt can beat the Milwaukee using the high performance battery against the standard battery. Just for fun, I know you guys are gonna get for it, but 
Oh well. Standard against high performance. Ready, set, go. Wow, look at that. I know it's not fair, guys, but still. That just goes to show you how much more power you get out of high performance battery. It actually beat it. I know it has more power by an inch. That's crazy. Where it can't beat it with a standard two on two. All right, back to high performance. The Milwaukee's fully charged up. The Cobalt's still fully charged up. These are the eight inch. Let's see, Let's try it one more time. Both on high. Ready, get set, go. All right, we have the Monster 8-inch SPAC screws. Got to get up on the ladder for this one. Still have these long 50s, T50s. Winner takes all, guys. Ready, get set, go. Wow, that was pretty close. Cobalt is just a smidge behind, but Milwaukee still won, guys. So unless you're doing a totally unfair test where this has high performance, this has standard, I don't think this can beat it. We tried little screws, or we tried the six inches, we tried the eight inches, we tried the big eight inches. So it still has a hell of a lot of power, guys. I definitely like this. I give it one and a half consumer thumbs up for sure. All right, now for fun, I'm gonna show you what the precision mode does on the Cobalt. So we have three speeds, we have high, medium, low, and then precision, so, or assist mode, excuse me. It's supposed to eliminate cam out, so it's kind of like a slow start and it speeds up. So we're on assist mode, let's see how she does. Ready, set, go. Let's listen to that one more time. like it so it actually revs up really quick I know some of the other tools when they have the uh, assist mode whatever you call it precision mode it takes forever to ramp up like the, the orange one the cobalt it's kind of a slow start there's more slow rpms and before it kicks up into the high rpms and I like that it goes brrr, boom real fast not much of a lag show you low Here's low speed. All right, not much. Here's medium. This is about the speed of most impact drivers. And then we have full power on high. Like butter. Boom. New cobalt, guys. I like it a lot. Uh, it's a little warm, they're both a little warm, but definitely under 100 degrees. My temp gun's all messed up, so I don't have that guy, sorry. All right, let's go down the shop, do the closeout shot, and we'll do we'll weigh them up. Let's weigh them up real quick here, guys. All right, bare tool, cobalt. We're looking at four pounds, three ounces, not bad. Milwaukee, the high output, nothing else. Three pounds, nine ounces. So a smidge heavier, guys, not too bad. Um, it definitely is taller and wider than Gen 1 and way more powerful to boot, guys. So I really like this impact driver. I give it one and a half consumer thumbs up. Retails 180, 179 at Lowe's. A little pricey, you know, it could be like a hundred bucks for us budget guys, especially now that people aren't working as much and think they'd lower the prices a little bit, but no. I really like it guys. So only time will tell if it can hold up to the big dogs. Uh, what else? Let me know what you want to see this go up against. Should I do it against the skill? Should I do it against the rigid? So on and so forth. Let me know guys. All right guys, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe, stick around. Lots of good stuff coming out. Lots of good battle videos coming up with this new one. Uh, stay safe. Don't let Rona get you. It's freaking crazy out there. All these lunatics running around with gas masks and level A hazmat suits and whatnot. It's bonkers. I got a guy walking his dogs out here in full like military chemical like bubble suit. It was crazy. <laughs> so uh, stay safe guys. Until next time. See ya.